Hello, everyone. My name is Eric Tower. I am the CEO of The Void, and today I am going to be giving you a product demonstration of the portal and a couple of different types of utilities that you might expect from people using our services. Plus, you'll see a little bit about our governance dashboard tied into this as well. So let's begin. So the portal is a browser extension. So you'll see right here, I click on the browser extension and I have a couple of different options. I can simply log in or I can recover my account. So because we're starting over new, we're going to recover the account. So it brings me through the account creation process. But if I want to create my account, all I'm going to do is connect my wallet. And this could be a wallet from any chain, honestly. So the, the portal is able to interact with any wallet from any network. So in this case, uh, we're going to go ahead and choose MetaMask. So I connect my MetaMask wallet. And what do we see inside the portal? We see our NFT collection that we have inside our MetaMask wallet. So if you if your NFT collection doesn't show up, you can simply search the contract address if you want here in this little search bar. But we're going to go ahead and click on our Voyagers collection, and we're going to connect the Voyagers to the portal. So I make a quick connection here. I confirm that connection. And now next thing you know, here I am. I unlock my wallet and now we're inside the portal. Now that we're inside the portal, there's a couple of different features that we have here, starting with our wallet. So you can see that we have ETV inside of our wallet. These are your collectibles where you have all your different NFTs. And if you can see, you can see your NFTs from different chains, such as Ethereum, Solana, Flow, or even void native NFTs. You click on your NFTs, and then they expand out into the NFTs that you have for each collection. Then you have obviously notifications, different notifications that you're having based on things that you're interacting with, and then some account settings. Now that's the real basic stuff, but now let's get into some of the NFT applications that you might see your finer interact with inside the wallet. But I first wanna preface this is that these NFT applications are built on our native protocol, NFGP. And what's really great about these NFT applications is that they can be built using whatever programming language or technology stack that you currently have. And any interaction with these NFT apps are completely feedless. And a big distinction, and I'm gonna show you a very small example between an NFT and NFT application is that this NFT application is very much like a mini software application where all of the logic and the validation of that logic being executed actually lives on chain. So these NFT apps are essentially mini software applications that live on chain and actually perform some form of function or feature. It is much different than a standard NFT, which is really just a, a token and some form of static uh, metadata, right? So I'm going to show you just a really quick example between the two, but how the two can interact together. Because really what the premise of this is and where we see this fitting in is that current NFT collections across all ecosystems, they all have the same issues. They need to constantly provide value to their customers. I'm sorry, to their community. And in order to do that, they do it by providing utility to the collection. But the current uh, infrastructure where people are trying to build utility into these, these collections is severely limited, but we're providing a new avenue for providing utility to your community in the form of interactive, dynamic, and programmable NFT applications that can provide utility exclusively to your NFT community. And so now you as the NFT project creator doing more for your community is endless and you can build as many apps, whether for your exclusive community or a community member themselves can contribute and build apps for the community also. So inside the portal is very, this aspect here is very much like a app store. So it's a store where you can find, interact, engage, and buy or access these different NFT applications. And I'm going to show you a quick example of a, a very simple NFT application. Now, if I have here this cassette tape NFT, okay, so I have this cassette tape NFT, 
right? And a cassette tape on its own, it does nothing, right? What does a cassette tape need in order to actually function and, and fulfill its purpose in playing the music that's recorded on the tape? Well, it needs some form of a boom box. So this boom box is that very thing. It is an actual NFT application that has specific logic configured into it that when you combine these standard cassette tape NFTs with it and you hit play, it will actually play a song. So not only are you selling the cassette tape as an NFT itself, but then you can sell as the project creator a boombox NFT, which is an actual software application that lives on chain that interacts interacts dynamically with your existing NFTs. Now, this is a very small example of the possibility that you can provide to your community by creating these NFT applications that work dynamically with your existing collection. And it doesn't have to be an existing collection, but it can be also a new collection that you want to provide. I'm sorry, that you want to build. So that's just an example of one NFT application. Another one here could be a loot box. Now a loot box can, let's say, programmatically generate five random NFTs and it can do it once a month. So it can be programmed on like a monthly schedule. It can be a one-time access thing, or it could be even free. And again, very much like the app store or in the apps in your iPhone, some apps are subscription-based. Some are a one-time payment. Some are completely free. Some can be community specific. Some can be universal and open to any community from any network in Web3. And just to give you kind of a broad scope of what that looks like, there's roughly 267,000 NFT collections between collections between Ethereum and Solana alone. And they all have the same issue, which is they need to provide value to their existing community. And we are providing that solution that allows them to create these NFT apps that can dynamically engage with their existing community. So that's just an example of a loot box NFT application. Now I'm gonna show you how uh, a, a, another dynamic way where an NFT can actually interact with a uh, NFT collection from a different chain that's not void specific. So let's say in our case, right, you apply to be part of void governance. All right, let's say you're accepted into void governance. We're going to unlock our wallet. And you see here that you are airdropped a archetype seal. Okay, so this archetype is an NFT, right? But you also have this base NFT, this Voyager right here that doesn't have an archetype inside its chest, okay? So now let's say we wanna to go to the Voyager app because now we've been accepted into governance. And you see that we have this navigator seal, this archetype seal. This is an NFT. And you see right here, my connected Voyager that I have without the archetype in its chest. I wanna equip this NFT to my existing NFT and make it dynamic. So it's a dynamic collection. I'm going to equip it. This is an actual on-chain transaction approve and now you will see that my Voyager NFT has a archetype seal now in the middle of its chest designating what part of governance that it belongs to. What's really great about that now is that you go to the governance dashboard, you click here on your tab and now you're inside your designated area of governance that you've been accepted into and you can participate in different community bounties. So that's just an example of a dynamic NFT collection working with your existing NFT. So again, that's just another example. There's also the opportunity for partnership. If you have a specific NFT that's connected to the portal and that company that you've partnered with wants to build an NFT app, all you have to do is take your portal, which has your connected NFT, click on the partnership app, and it will automatically load the web page where you would experience that utility or discount or private access to that web page that, that you were afforded in your partnership with that company. As an example, if you did partner with Nike, and again, this is a example, I, we do not have a partnership with Nike, but as an example, a pure example, if you did, you would simply click on the Nike tab, and all of a sudden it would load that web page, and you would be brought to the exam, uh, the web page where you have your utility applied. So 
the possibilities here for being able to provide added value and utility to existing collections across all ecosystems in Web3 on every chain are endless. And developers can build these NFT applications and they can either be, like, we, like I said before, community specific, or they can be universal and open for every single individual, every NFT community in Web3 can use, and they can sell that NFT application. So this is really creating a new market for NFTs where they're not just standard JPEGs, but these are actual little mini software programs that have specific programmed functionality and features that execute on chain, I'm sorry, that's processed on chain in order to provide not just an immutable token to individuals, but immutable utility as well. And that's another really big change here is that because all the logic and the processing and validation of that logic is on chain, the utility associated with these NFT applications is also on chain and immutable as well. So that's the product demo of the portal here where you will be able to find access and interact and engage with different NFT applications. You'll be able to connect your native digital assets from any ecosystem to the portal to engage with these void specific applications. And you as the project creator, if you wanted to, you can bring more utility to your community, no matter what ecosystem you're a part of, by building and providing value to your community in the form of exclusive NFT applications. The possibilities are truly endless, and we're excited for what the future holds to see how people build more value into their communities across Web3. So I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.